Hybristophilia is a sexual interest in and attraction to those who commit crimes. A paraphilia in which sexual arousal, facilitation, and attainment of orgasm are responsible to and contingent upon being with a partner known to have committed a crime. One example of a famous person who had hybristophilia is Ayn Rand. She admired William Hickman, a disgusting killer who murdered and kidnapped and dismembered, you know, a young 12-year-old girl, really, really gruesomely. And it's hard to believe she, anyone could like someone like that, but Ayn Rand did. So why did Ayn Rand like this guy so much? Well, here are a few quotes she had. Other people do not exist for him, and he does not see why they should. Another quote from Rand is that Hickman had no regard whatsoever for all that society holds sacred and with a consciousness all his own. He has the true innate psychology of a superman. He can never realize and feel other people. And that's the thing about Rittenhouse. You know, if you've... If you've read anything, you know, by the people, you know, his online fanboys, you realize a lot of these people seem to have hybristophilia, which is why he makes me think of these things. Two other examples of hybristophilia would be uh, Richard Ramirez and Ted Bundy. Both of them had a bunch of fangirls who admired them, and uh, both of them actually married in prison, you know, after they'd been convicted of what they did. And Ted Bundy, not only did he do that, he actually is here seen proposing marriage during one of his trials. You know, his life is on the line, and he proposes marriage to this girl. Watch. Carol, do you want to marry me? Yes. And I want to marry you? Yes. And I do want to marry you. Yes, I do. And that's the thing. There seems to be no love for Republicans nowadays. You know, as long as you're white and you kill people that they can justify you killing, you know, you can hang out with Charlie Kirk, Donald Trump, Steven Crowder. You know, all these people seem to have some kind of weird hybristophilia thing. And, you know, far from being disgusted and saying, hey man, let's not do this again, they seem to be in it and they want to encourage it. It's kind of weird because I almost feel like it's easier to find a Republican now with hybristophilia than without it, you know, because they all seem to like Kyle Rittenhouse instead of being turned off by him. And to sum it up, I'd say, you know, Richard Ramirez and Ted Bundy had their fangirls, so does Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs>